Hi, this is Richie Sparry, and we have Sean Lindo, national NPC competitor, ready to get ready for the national second place in the USA's this year, 2014. We're gonna now go into your arm workout. Now, normally with arms, a lot of bodybuilders either do arms on their own, or they do them after, say, chest, uh, or after back. How do you do your arms? A uh, variety of different things that we do with arms. We have an arms day, but we just do just strictly arms, everything. Okay. And also, depend, uh, we do chest and back. Sometimes we finish off with a little bit of um, biceps or tricep just to finish up because they're already involved in the other exercises. So, you do buys and tries and say arm day, do you superset buys and tries? Yeah. So, you do a superset? Do a superset, or we just, just completely focus on just buys by itself for that. Okay, so it around. depends on the it day whether day. you're just going to do just yeah. buys yeah. or do buys and tries together. Right. If, okay. we're, if we're strapped for time, then we just try to superset everything. Okay. Like, if we're not, then we spend as long as we So can. what are we going to do now? We're going to do some buys? We're going to do some buys. Okay, what do we start, start with? Some, uh, some dumbbells. One thing Sean is known for is his great shape, great arms, uh, overall symmetry. We do about three sets, three to four sets? Three to four sets. 20 reps? 20 reps. Oh, okay. 20 reps. We start on 20. As we go heavier, the, num the number is a rep drop down a little so bit. So this is like a moderate weight of 45s. You're doing what up to like 60? We go up to 60. 70s? Yeah. Uh, 70s is a little bit much for me. Uh, <laughs> so regular curl. Hammer curls, yeah, but uh, up to, to 60 or so. We do very strict. You try to keep it going. You know, one thing if you're doing a curl, it's really important is supination and pronation. As you're coming up, you're supinating, you're really squeezing out the bicep, contracting, and then you're bringing it back down, pronating, stretching out your bicep. So that's very important on the form, correct? Correct. Okay, here at, uh, we're gonna do barbell curls. Correct. So if you'd like to go wide. A little bit wider. Okay. Use the, the rack here, you go like a lot of times uh, Olympic bar, or what do you do? We'll do both. Okay. We'll do both, but right now we're gonna use the, the rack it's more easy, I don't, we don't have to stack on weight or anything okay. like that. I like to make sure my arms is fully extended so I get those, uh, like you were saying before, those uh, muscles to stretch. Okay. And squeeze. Buys and tries. I like training them together. I think I always got a great, you know, a great workout when I did the supersets of buys and tries. Also, what you said is proper form. A lot of guys, what they do is super, super heavy, swing the weight. It's okay to swing, you know, when you get to the, the heaviest weight and making sure your contraction, you know, the biceps or triceps. But it's very important that form is critical. That full, you know, contraction, full extension is going to be key to getting your arms to grow. Correct. Back at the dumbbell rack, we're going to do hammer curls. Now, I love doing hammer curls. They work your bicep, but they also work your brachialis, Correct. your forearm. Yeah. So it's a great exercise. Uh, let's get started. Let's do it. They come out to the side. Some guys like doing it in front of their body. So I noticed when you did that, it was out to the side. Yeah. Some guys bring it out to the front. Yeah. You do them both ways? We do them both ways. To try to get the outer portion, you bring them in, you turn them in a little bit, and it's gonna really help to grow the outside. So I'll bring it more in. Okay. And, uh, why is that? I just feel a little more brachial. Okay. Okay, so this exercise, um, we go up to how much? You can go pretty heavy on this. Go pretty they're, a lot easier, they're a little easier than regular curls. Correct. So what can we go on those? We go up to 75. Okay. Farm, yeah. again, it's not the greatest. Okay, we'll do this now. Go but on. we go up to that much, and we don't go past that because no one want to get injured. But it's really not the, it's not going heavy. It's, no. It's the form. No, it's the form. So a lot of guys look at it, you see, lift the real heavy weights. You really want to get that form because that's what's going to help develop your arms. Heavier you go, swinging the weight's not going to make your arms get bigger. So that's really important.
Okay, we're at the next exercise. We're gonna do rope curls. It's a pretty cool exercise. It's almost like a hammer as well. You can come out and you can pull it. You get almost like a rope or, or a hammer into a regular curl. Okay, let's get started. Same thing, 20 reps? Same thing. Okay. 20 reps. So that's that 20 rep range. versatility on the action right. so it's a good exercise overall for shape right so this is like your finishing yeah. exercise correct and with the rope you can really turn out more without putting an emphasis uh, without straining the, the shoulder. shoulder or anything like that and you and get a better peak a better contraction of the bicep Excellent. so that's it that's for, it for, for bicep biceps. exercises yeah I guess then you go into normal you go in that same day you go into same biceps. Day, biceps okay yes. great great workout I'm gonna move on into the next exercise guys which is triceps. I do a variety of exercise for it. Right now what I'm going to demonstrate is push down using a machine instead of using dumbbells or cables. I'm going to demonstrate some of that also but I'm just going to start out here. And again everything that you do try to get full range of motion get the muscle to stretch because that's what's going to help it to grow and lengthen and then you get full out. Okay here we go. Nice and easy. You want to bring it all the way up, all the way down and squeeze. Two, three, two. There's a couple of different ways you can position your hand in this one. You could uh, bring it in a little bit closer where your arms are a little bit more tucked to the inside. So you're hitting the, the, long, the short head of your tricep muscle. You turn it out and you force your arms out a little bit more, it's gonna target the long head of the triceps. So just another variety you should keep in mind when you're doing this exercise, depending on what you wanna target a little bit more of. So the next exercise I'm moving into is some uh, overhead extension with the tricep using a rope. It's a really good stretch on the tricep only. I like this one a lot. And here we go. this exercise when you do it this way you really eliminate you take the shoulders out of it when you do it standing and you're pressing down after a while when the tricep get tired you start to use your shoulder into the exercise and you want to eliminate that as best as you can and keep it all in the triceps that's the reason why I like this exercise next what I'm going to do for the tricep is using a v-bar you can really put a lot of weight on with this one and go all out compared to the rope, you're a little bit limited with that. And this is one of the reasons why I like this exercise so much. Man, I really feel that from top to bottom. But you can see with this, it allows you to come all the way up to get that stretch. And you can push all the way down, keep it close to your body, and get that full contraction. You can't go wrong with this either. 